Okay, stand up straight a little bit. Look forward into the camera. I am. Okay, look smart. I, I, smart. Always, I always look smart. Wait, wait, Bill. turn around. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm coaching them. I got to do this every time, folks. <laughs> hey, you know what? Speaking of coaching, we have a great coaching tip we want to share with these folks out here, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. This is Ed LaFlon, head harvester from the East Coast. Head harvester and coach from the West Coast, Bill <laughs> Arman. We're going to talk to you today about the 10-15 report. This is famous for Bill. Bill made it famous in his organization when he was with Valley Crest. This is used as a touch base tool, okay? Especially with uh, new employees during the first 90 days. And of course, even with all your employees, you could do it at least quarterly and maybe even monthly. Doesn't hurt and only takes you a few minutes. And Bill's gonna explain how it works. Yeah, and you know, I like to think I invented this, but I didn't. I looked it up on Google and it's, it was, it's been used for decades. Really? Yeah, so it's nothing really new, but it's so effective. I've been using it for decades. See, I always thought he invented yeah, it. Yeah, I'm mm. not gonna take the credit. Okay. But I will take the credit for using it and mm. promoting it because it is very, very effective. So it takes 10 minutes maximum for the person you're gonna be coaching to fill it out. Or just think about the three answers. There are only three questions they're gonna to need to answer. So who would fill this out though? Person that reports directly to you. Okay. So your direct report. Mm -hmm. So as Ed said, I would suggest new employees weekly, uh, all employees ideally monthly, just mm -hmm. to take their temperature so you don't let things get too exasperated, right? So 10 minutes mm -hmm. for them to fill it out, and then it take only 15 minutes to review it. Mm -hmm. Sit down one-on-one, -on -one, quiet time, no interruptions, and take 15 minutes. And ask three simple questions. So the first question is just really taking their temperature. I usually start off with, hey, how's it going? What's going on in your life here? Uh, everything's okay? And just a little touch base. Mm -hmm. And then I'd ask you pointedly, what is your current level of morale? One to five, five being best. So what is your current level of morale? Mm -hmm. So when I get that number, I can get kind of a reading on the person. Right. So if it's less than five, I say, gee, what can you do to move it up to a five? What are some of the things that you can be doing? And often that's the case. They just need to manage their time better. They're a little uh, frustrated. I don't have the piece of equipment, whatever. The second part would be, how can the company get you to five? Mm -hmm. What can the company do or me as your leader or your your boss help you get it to five? So that's the first question. What's your morale? What can you do to get it to five? And what can the company get to five? Hmm, What's that's number really two? Awesome. Uh, number two is, um, what have you learned since we last met? That, that's, a, that's a key one. I like that. Now, let me ask you, Bill, would, would the, you're talking to your direct reports. Are your direct reports also doing this to their direct reports? Yeah, I'd, I'd take it all the way down and through. the. Yeah, all the way down through if you okay. could. Yeah. You bet. I think I'd be really powerful. Yeah. I say that because when we do client surveys, a lot of times uh, we, we have a number of questions, one through five, and a lot of times the scores are one, two, and three, and they're not fours and fives. So this would be a powerful way to connect with the people to really strengthen the culture of the organization. And, and sometimes the problem might be that relationship, the one-to-one. -one. Ah, so periodically yes. you may want to have a skip over um, a direct report, not direct report, the person that is above that person oh, okay. on occasion. Oh, that's good Sometimes idea. the problem's right there. Yeah, with it's you. It's not getting resolved. Well, yeah. Probably you. Oh, no, not probably with you. Okay. So what have you learned since the last time we met? So what lessons have learned? What have you learned? So that encourages the process of learning. Right. And here's the third question. What recommendations, what recommendations do you have for the organization to get better? Hmm. Right? It's pretty simple, isn't it? That's very simple. So what's your morale? Yep. What have you learned since the last time? And what recommendations do you have for the organization? Powerful. Right. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a really good idea. This is, I, I've got some recommendations for you now. Yeah. Parks. Well, let me tell you this. When you look yeah. at the camera, look at the camera and smile. So let me coach you up <laughs> a little bit. Put your to, hands down. Yeah, okay. Don't look like that. Yeah. Okay. So see, this is all about coaching. About like this, this is going to take more than 10 minutes, like folks. This. Okay.